Hello, Rob here from the Flanagan Homestead. Tomorrow morning I'm buying my first ever sheep for my homestead. I've had goats for over 20 years. I've bought and sold many goats, hauled them around, but I've never had sheep before, so tomorrow I'm gonna venture into sheep. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how I'm just gonna create a uh, cr uh, box to haul the sheep in, in the back of my pickup, uh, using the ladder rack as kind of a frame, which helps out, and uh, some fence panels. And it should go pretty easy, and the nice thing is, once I have the everything cut to the size, I could take the panels on and off fairly quickly, and so as I buy and sell sheep and goats, uh, I have a way to haul them easily. First thing I gotta do is empty out all the crud from my pickup from uh, planting trees and the other projects yesterday and the day before, so get the mess out of the way. So here's the plan. Here's my panel. It's about 32 inches tall. And my panels are 35 inches high. I need to stay below this bar so it won't fit in, so it'll fit in there. This is 27 inches, which is just fine. I'll strap it to this bar right here. It'll hang down below here, so it'll create pressure holding it against, and I'll secure it to my tie downs on either side. It's, uh, it needs to be able to fit inside the bed of the truck. So I have an e 73, 73 inches to play with inside here. So I'll cut it just inside that. So it'll strap on here, hang down here, and <clears throat> be tied in there. Couldn't find my bolt cutter, so I borrowed some. Hopefully these work fairly well. Uh, gonna get the measurement, then start cutting it. Quite often on a project like this, you lay the panel down and stand on it and cut it, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. So fortunately with this upright, we're just over 72 inches, so this will fit almost perfectly once we put it inside the pickup. And these bolt cutters, these bolt cutters are doing this quite easily, so that's, that's a good sign. All right, here's the panel that I just cut before I do any more cuts. Let's make sure that my plan is working. Uh, what am I going to hold it up there with? I'm going to start with bungee cords. I've got bungee cords, rapid, uh, ratchet straps, baling twine, everything farmers always have around. But uh, uh, the bungee uh, straps may be strong enough to hold it permanently, but if nothing else, it's a, they'll be good to hold it in place. And then I might have to tie it down or ratchet it down otherwise. So let's see how this... So likewise, I've got it pretty good. It's just barely short enough to fit above the wheel well and not uh, go up above and, and run into the bar up above. Longer straps are going to go over and under each hole, making it tighter after each one. That's going to hold that in there pretty tight. Be able to close the tailgate and then we have a nice tight fit here so that when the next rail comes here there'll be no place for the sheep to get out so it's secure on the top it's not going anywhere I don't care if the sheep are leaning up against it down at the bottom I don't want this waving back and forth so we'll just simply go around the vertical and a horizontal go to the truck tie down tie this off and it won't go anywhere Things are going good, we need to cut our next panel. I laid my bolt cutters right on the outside of the vertical that I need to cut. So let's cut these off for the next panel.
Now the people I buying the sheep from said they're pretty skittish and we get on the freeway they're gonna might even want to try to jump out the top of this. So I'm gonna cover the top. It doesn't have to be quite as strong because they're not gonna have the lift. But I have an old soccer net that I'm gonna secure across the top of this so no animal wants to go out over the top. It won't be easy to do that. And uh, it's probably the first thing that ever hit the soccer net because no goals are ever scored in soccer. Just kidding soccer people. I did take a small strip of baling twine and tied the soccer net to the ladder rack as well as the railing on the other side or the fencing on the other side. Did it on both sides and this is going to both secure my fencing back and keep the keep it so there's no gap on the net against the cab of the pickup. One small hiccup in this plan with my 16 foot panel that I was cutting I, w I got the lengthwise and I was going to do the end of the truck and secure it there but when I you cut right here just outside one of these verticals then you don't have the vertical on the next one so with this next piece when I stand it up there's no verticals to hook around so I'm gonna have to run a longer uh, a longer bungee or straps or whatever to secure this and then create more laterals to fill in the gap hook your bungees off your pocket and then you're not all tangled up and you can be using your hands and grab one real quick I'm not going to put too much effort into securing this off completely because this is where we're going to be loading the animals tomorrow so I'll have to have this come off but I will bungee it up and then I will strap side to side as well and this should work pretty, pretty well. I don't see any animals getting out of this. Okay this was pretty quick and easy and since I uh, have been buying and selling goats for a number of years and hope to be doing the same with sheep it'll be nice to have these panels pre-cut and everything else put them on, strap them on quickly, take it off when I don't need it, and it should go really well. And uh, it did not take me long even doing with the doing the cutting and figuring my plan out. If you've ever uh, hauled livestock, one of your questions might be, uh, Rob, your pickup's kind of high. How are you going to get the sheep up in there? So, uh, uh, you know, I checked and the, the husband of the family that's doing it is going to be there and, and we can, together, we're going to lift up the few sheep that we have. Uh, when I come back to unload it, I have a place that I can back my pickup up against the hillsides so that they can walk out and then go down from there. So um, no, I, I do not have loading ramps. They do not have a loading ramp. So we are gonna be picking the sheep up and putting them in. Uh, I am gonna take extra bungees and straps and everything. I think it's nice and secure. It's not going anywhere, but uh, this last rail might need a little bit extra tightening up. And so if I do ratchet straps or whatnot, run it through there, uh, make the tailgate a lot stronger. And uh, by the time you're watching this video, if you watch it right after I put it out, I'm probably, when this is going to post, I'm probably on my way driving to pick up the sheep. And Klatsk and I, and we'll go from there. As always, thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead, where Christmas trees are my business, teaching and cleaning horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects are my passion. Hope to see you again soon, everyone. Be blessed.